The diaphragm on this Volkswagen Audi PCV system is bad. In this video, I'll show you how you know it's bad and what other things can happen because it's bad. Here you can see the diaphragm is not only bad, but it's just falling apart. With this diaphragm torn, you can see how much oil is coming out of this PCV valve. Where's this oil going? Right into the intake manifold. Then it's coating the valves. Look how bad those valves look. The buildup is so bad, we have to take a pick and start pulling all of this debris out of here. Then we sandblast it with walnut shells. Walnut shells are hard enough to get the carbon off, but not hard enough to damage the engine. About two and a half hours later, they look a lot better. Just to make sure there's not too much debris in the cylinders after doing this, we'll check it out with this cheap $10 boroscope. I don't mind if there's some walnut shells in there, but I don't want a buildup that would damage the engine when we start it up. Everything looks pretty clear. Now that the valves are cleaned up, we can put everything back together, but this PCV valve needs fixed. Just look how much oil is inside here, and all that is just coating the valves. If you listen closely to the engine, you can see when you put your finger over this PCV air vent, you can hear the engine struggle a bit. Sometimes when you pull the dipstick out, you can hear a change in the idle as well. This will all depend on what's wrong with the PCV valve. In order to run the car without the PCV valve, we have to plug the intake manifold tube that goes to the PCV valve. This will allow us to run the car and see how much oil is coming out of this PCV valve. You can see a lot of oil vapors coming out of here. So on this Volkswagen 2.0 T engine, we'll remove these two coil packs so we can get the PCV valve off. This tube under here connected to the turbo is pretty tight. Once this tube is disconnected, you just pull off the PCV valve. Most PCV valves are not this big. They're usually only a couple inches long. Now you can either replace the entire PCV valve system or just the diaphragm. The difference between a new diaphragm and the whole valve is about $20. So it made sense to put a new PCV valve on. It's a good idea to check your PCV valve. It's one of those things that's really easy to overlook. So if you haven't checked your PCV valve in a while, now might be a good time. If your PCV valve is bad, it can cover your valves in oil and make a big mess to have to clean up. Well, I hope you have found this video useful. And if you did, please give the video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.